Okay, so here we have a composition called MDMV4 visible, which sounds like this. We also have visible a composition one, which looks and sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing and Evolving Spaces, Episode 11, Chapter Liminal and Distinguish. In today's episode, we re-entered with several thoughts. Our stream log format, which is this spreadsheet thing we're looking at, is kind of a space into which we compose, except we're extending that to saying it's a text structure within which we stream. It gives us a little shape inside of which to do our stream. Now, the trick is, how do you linearly document, which is what a stream log is, one, two, three, four in a row, line, versus something that's non-linear? And those two things we just played for you to get from the MDVD4 from MDVD1 was highly non-linear. We were jumping around all over the place back and forth. Nevertheless, we need the stream log. Uh, in particular, the score, the animation that we made of the score, which we're going to show you, and even our 3D in music composing exhibit, which we've been showing you several times, all ended up informing each other for the final result. So let's, let's get on in and show. So as we pointed out, MDV1, which we played all of, has a structure of a, a, a melody, a drum, a, a synth, and a polysynth parts that all come in kind of near the end down here under what we call the composite area. which we really like. And again, we played that for you last time. Similarly, version four has a composite area coming in down here. Same or different, uh, very different. Uh, we've changed the timbres. We've changed the pattern of the drum. Um, and also, of course, we changed the scale. The first one, doo, 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 doo. this one, let's, let's keep the titles evident. So version one is using what we call the C3443446 scale. And version four is using what we call the uh, man, we mislabeled that. And I can't believe we did that. It's actually the A flat one, two, two, one. It should all be saying A flat one, two, two, one. So let's just fix that. It's still a four, four, six scale. That's not a change. But a flat A, B flat B. And then the one is still the original. So this has C, E flat, E, G, A flat, B. There'll be a quiz on that. And then this A flat, A, B flat, B, C, G. So their two notes are different, and the other four are the same. So what we did in the evolution of this piece was we started with one and got something we really liked. <laughs> and then we just copy that pattern with a different scale down here. It's the same drum figure and everything. We 
also copied the uh, what we called the um, high and the low figures. So this is the high and the low figures. They sound like this. And then the low figure. And in order to copy that into a different scale, the notes had to change. So you're going. To, we, this is what the quote unquote high and low figures sound like. Gives a nice eerie effect. And you can feel the change in the scale. We swap two notes, two notes out for two others. Um, so then in version three, we said, okay, we're going to give ourselves uh, leeway to change the figures, so uh, and the drums. So now we use we're using this kind of a drum pattern. <laughs> so it's the toms going dun da da. Dun, dun, instead of the dun, 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 dun. and then we're down here for the high and the low figures they kind of get pushed a little bit in their pitch range but they're still basically high low So it sounds more consonant because, in, for strangely enough, in this scale, A flat, one, two, two, one, four, four, six, you can pick notes that'll give you those nice cheerful intervals compared to what was happening in the other one. Um, the final shift that we made is in going to four, we started to animate it. So we, we ended up adding a drum solo at the beginning. It's all by itself here. And then we, uh, where those the high and the low figures came in, we, we gave the high figure a solo, and then it duetted with the, the low. And then we put them together here. And of course, we forgot to mention, we changed timbres. We went the cellos down here and we went to more synth strings. So we changed the timbres. So all of it ends up in uh, an animation that looks like this. Here we go. This ends today's uh, episode. There are several things we like about the process that we showed you and the, uh, the animation. One of the key things is that we felt there was a three-way interaction. The score, we started with the score, we edited and updated it to allow for the new scale, 
Then we animated it, and the first animation told us we really should have a drum solo at the beginning for visual interest. And so we went back to the score and that did that. And then as we listened to the score and the animation, they kind of told each other that we needed to um, we needed to do a little solo and then a duet on the on the warm synth and the cellos. And then finally, when we were arguing about transitioning, so when you animate something, you have so many seconds per section here, so many seconds. And then you can either auto-dissolve or have no transition. And we were kind of thrashing on that a little bit. And then we finally realized, well, wait a minute. If you look at the score, there is a aural separation here. There's a there's no auto dissolve in there, so we took that out. But in this part where we put the high and the low right one together, you can do an auto dissolve. It fits. But then the minute you have RL separation again, you want to keep the visual separation mat matching the RL separation. And then finally, on on the way that the drum starts, we were thrashing about um, whether to color the drum something besides, you know, besides pure white. <laughs> and we tried color, we tried bright red, but we finally said, you know what? We have a poem in our exhibit. We have a poem in our exhibit that talks about from the void comes energy. So if the black is kind of the visual representation of the void and the pure white against black is the first um, hint of energy coming into the void, you know, then we've got a it's corny, but it it appealed to us. So we said, okay, we'll leave that as a, as a white color. So our ideas for next time are to, to be determined, <laughs> as usual. There are a lot of those. Uh, we still have the op some other options we'll talk about when we get back to it. So shout outs to creative composer and wellness aspector who showed by. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.